We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. All right, everybody, this is Matt Monarch from the Raw Food TV show. And today is, what day is it today? Saturday. Saturday. And today, we have a very special show for you because Matt Monarch told me, or wait, I'm Matt Monarch, but I was told that I got some incredible feedback from the Daniel Vitalis video about immunity, and I love immunity. I'm Matt Monarch, or whoever I am, love immunity. And so I told Matt that he better post a show today. And he said he was gonna do something else. And so what I did is I took Happy Oasis's guitar. There it is. And I hit him over the head. And I told him he's gotta put this thing up. So he did, and here it is. System. Where do we start? We start with cleansing. That's where we start. After a time, we start thinking about these other things, building up the immunity. That's why we do the medicinal mushrooms. That's the value of fermented food. Um, because we can end up literally cloaked in invincibility. And you can do that with nutrition. Do you think aged garlic extract is really good for immune? I think aged garlic extract falls into a separate category. People get confused here. What is garlic? It's an antibiotic. When we hear garlic's good for the immune system, why? It's an antibiotic. Well, what's the value of that? If there are bacteria that we need to kill off, we'd want to use things like garlic because it's antibiotic. But we only need things like aged garlic when something's already gotten to us. How do we keep something from getting to us? The antibiotics only work once we have the infection in place. What we really want to do, though, is get where we don't need the antibiotic because we have the force field in place and we have educated white blood cells. If we can do that, then the garlic's only a backup. That's worst case scenario when we start needing things like garlic or echinacea or any of the immunostimulating stuff. That stuff's because there's already a problem. But if first we teach the white blood cells to slow down and we cover ourselves in good bacteria, we actually usually don't need to. Earlier on in my strategy, I used a lot of garlic, but that was because I was having to battle organisms. Today, because of the, the immuno mushrooms that I use, because of the fermented foods, I actually don't really need that as much anymore. I don't really have to work on that level now. So how do the mushrooms educate the white blood cells? Like, Okay, so there's very specific types of sugars. Now, we know about the little sugars. For instance, we call them monosaccharides. That's things like glucose, which is what's in honey, or fructose, what's in fruits. Those are simple sugars. They're made out of one individual sugar molecule, one sugar. Well, if we get two sugar molecules together, we go from a monosaccharide to a disaccharide. That's like white sugars like that, or the sugar that's in maple is like that. If we start to get these more complex, we start to build things called oligosaccharides. These are more complex sugars where there's three or four or five molecules. Those are things like FOS, like as in your cone syrup. If we get more complex and start adding more and more and more, we start creating what we call complex carbohydrate. Another name for that is polysaccharide, many saccharides. That's like starches, like what's in rice or potato. Those are complex carbohydrates. Beyond, notice as they get more complex, they lose their sweetness. So fructose, very sweet. Glucose, very sweet. Disaccharides, like lactose and like sucrose, very sweet. The oligosaccharides start to lose their sweetness. Complex carbohydrates aren't sweet at all. And when we get into very complex, very long, multi-chain, branched sugars called polysaccharides, they're actually bitter. If you've ever eaten aloe vera, it's made of polysaccharides and it's bitter. What's aloe vera mean? It means truly bitter. Aloe means bitter. Veritas means truth. Aloe vera, truly bitter. Well, the mushrooms build their body out of a complex sugar, a polysaccharide, called a beta-glucan. That stuff tastes bitter, and it can be extracted into tea. Now, when those polysaccharides, the beta-glucans, are in the bloodstream, they dock on or they link up to white blood cells, kind of like when you take a little memory chip and you plug it into your computer. It docks in your computer. They dock into the white blood cells and somehow, through some not well understood mechanism, upload information that educates white blood cells. Things that are going on in the white blood cells, uh, going on in our body biologically, are very much like what goes on with computers and with software and hardware. So the hardware, which is the white blood cell, gets software from the beta glucan, uploads it, teaches it, educates it. And it educates it in two directions. If 
the white blood cell's gone too far, it brings it down. If it's gone too low, it brings it up. So there's an intelligence happening here herbally through this intelligent sugars. I think personally my strategy is this. Over time, getting away from the really sweet sugars and developing a taste for the bitter sugars, like what's in the medicinal mushrooms. And Matt, I know you've got some great mushroom products online now that you're working with. I work with those too, and those come in capsules. I personally like to break those capsules open and eat them. In fact, here's one right here. So this is a reishi mushroom that's been extracted. Now if I open that up, and I taste that, it's bitter. That bitterness is the taste of those beta-glucan polysaccharide sugars. As that gets into my bloodstream, that's going to go educate white, my white blood cells to do their job in a more efficient way and so that they don't get too aggravated and start attacking my own tissue. And that's what we call allergic reactions, we, the histamine reactions. That's the, the autoimmunity that a lot of people are dealing with today. So um, that's how through these, these complex sugars simply educate our immune cells. Nice. Okay. All right, so I hope you enjoy that. Matt's back, back into, are you all right? Yeah, man. What, what happened? I just, don't worry about it, dude. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You guys enjoy it? Go ahead and tell us what you thought about it down below. And what are we doing? We're on TV right now? Yeah. Oh, well. Close it up. We've got Matt Monarch. <laughs> and, Matt, and Matt Monarch. And we'll see you tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.